where we are right now is just stunning and it's just it's great i think we're just going to talk so, <laughs> yes, of course. so just here yeah is that all right nice perfect shooting it raw yes shooting it raw you're on a beach is this in Saikong? Yeah. Okay, so it's a perfect beach. Um, the sand is all very nice. Uh, and so on this small green uh, surfboard, wearing a sort of a, a black and red wetsuit is a kid who's probably about 10, I'd say 10 years old, mm. uh, standing and you're, you're kind of coaching him behind, leaning on the, on the sand. You're kind of coaching, pointing off into the water and he's kind of almost like you're telling him, okay, doing, do this. And sort of coaching him to kind of to fix his stance or whatever and um, we can't really even see the water because the majority of the photograph is just the, the sand the sort of packed sand hmm. it looks overcast yeah the, the light is quite diffused and so this one's called be what you want to be in H in Hong Kong yeah so, so so you said inspire anyone this is a young fella that you know one thing that I've always done in my life I lived in Japan and on the water on a beach in Japan and Japanese people lived all around me and they're very private but they're you know they don't make friends too easily because they're so dedicated you're a friend for life they don't like oh. to easy friends okay so people um, adopt you or sort of give you space but I'd been surfing one day freezing snowing you know sleety sort of day in japan in winter because that's when the surf and this little boy come in he just pushed in the door of my apartment walked in and told me said teach me how to surf ha, this awesome. little, like he was six years old Amazing. Say, and he's just graduated this year and he said do i inspire people he's you know i've always had people like that he that people come and ask me so then I do it right. um, and I offer people lessons and I would say that's for life but Kaisei was one this guy is another one he's the son of our counsellor at the school there and we always talk skateboards and, and he asked to come surfing uh -huh. but it, it was freezing it was like end of winter so it should have been warming up and he's as skinny as anything so it was a freezing day it was only us and his mum walked into Saiwan and what I'm saying today is what I say to everyone skateboarding right um, always look where you're going of course <laughs> always look where you're going in life and it's yeah. one of the most favorite things I get to say people to people when they're learning to surf yeah because everyone looks down at their feet yeah and that's where you go right and it's like when you learn to ride a bike you're yeah. looking down at the pedals so you run into trees or, exactly. or people my age so yeah he's just getting that lesson nice. and he's grabbed a few lessons off me and he's still quite passionate about it but mm. he's a, got his rugby he's got his skateboards he's got his other things yeah so he's not a full convert yet but it's still <laughs> he's in the he's in the team another sorry another ahead, piece of that is in hong kong i i remember meeting a guy a teacher uh, one of the assistant principals in our school and he says i'm the referee for the rugby sevens is it okay yeah 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 and i, I was very impressed by that right he's right. like just another Dumb Aussie like me, yeah, and yeah. he's the he's the lead referee. Okay. Um, in the rugby sevens, I was very, and he also was um, a guitar guitar player in a, a Pink Floyd cover band. <laughs> going, Here we are in Hong Kong, and I've learned it too. In Hong Kong, you come in as this person, but you fashion yourself into the person you want to be. It's, okay. We all sort of do it in Hong Kong, sure, because Hong Kong sort of lets you do it. Right. If, and here I've fashioned myself into a, a surf coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've got learner boards and I've done lessons for years. In Australia, you've got to be an ex-world profession. Right, you know, right, 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 right. To, to be even considered as a surf coach. Sure. But Hong Kong, you can be that guy or that person. And I really love Hong Kong for that. It's also, the, it attracts a certain kind of person. You know, so already, yeah, these bugs are everywhere. Yeah. Uh, it attracts a certain kind of person who will, like, the, the kind of people who will leave their Australias and their Canadas and their Italy and their Denmarks, whatever, to come here. Mm. So it's kind of like within our little group of, of expats, there's that thing in our, in our mentality or psyche to say, well, yeah, I can go there. I can invent yeah. myself, right? Maybe that's why Hong Kong 
is that kind of place because it attracts where we have that in common. Yeah, yeah, we've already taken ourselves out of the comfortable place and the routines and the ske- other schedules to, yeah, yeah, I think so. Mm. Uh, again, I remember leaving Australia years ago. Oh, it was a few years before I left, and I was in a pub in Australia, and there's two old guys sitting on a bench drinking their beers and leaning back against the wall. And when one of them got off the stool to go to the toilet, I saw that his head had sort of cut a groove in the wall of the, <laughs> of, of the pub because he sat there. For, and I remember thinking, I'm never going to live anywhere long enough to, to leave be, a groove in the yeah, wall. To leave a dent in the, in the wall. <laughs> yeah, but... I know that's different to that, but yeah, I think some of us are not destined to sure. leave a dent in the wall. For, sure. For rep- so somebody who who listens to you have this passion that manifested and matured over time. So who brought you out surfing the first time, like when you were a kid? Uh, grandparents. They used to rent these big black surf plains in Bondi and I was born in Bondi so the grandparents used to take me down and, and I can I, I can still I'm seeing it now my first wave where I've just run up on the shore mm-hmm. on this thing with black thing with big yellow handles yeah. and like being hooked for life right and then other I had a dad took off but a stepdad I bought a, a, an old board for me, and I remember persevering as about an eight, nine, or ten year old and catching a wave in a place when we're on holidays in, in Australia. And I'm going across a wave, and there was a dolphin in the wave with me. There were certain things that oh, wow. have locked it in to say, I, yeah. I need to do this yeah. sort of as much as possible. Um, sorry, I don't know if I answered the question. I don't know if I asked the question. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> but yeah, there are certain things that are quite that are fairly hooking. Yeah, let me just see. Uh, actually, of all things, Jessica just texted me saying uh, she wanted uh, she <laughs> might want to come up to to the water. Speaking of people who want to get some water therapy, yeah, she needs it. Yeah. So you're in this case in this going back to this photograph. Be what you want to be in H in, in Hong Kong. If I take you and. What, okay, what emotions come up if I say to you, okay, um, I'm picking you up, I'm putting you on a plane, and I'm dropping you off in the middle of Saskatchewan, Canada, where there's no water for as far as you can see. What does that make you feel? Like there's no, the, the closest ocean is thousands of kilometers away. How yeah. do you feel? Well, I'm, uh, first thing I've got to try and get my head around is if there's snow that I can go snowboarding on. Oh, uh, there you go. Possibly uh, there. No, flat. Oh, it's flat. It's Sorry, flat. That's, that's my knowledge of geography. <laughs> so that's not that. The, the, my next thought is that's not likely to, to happen. happen. Right. You right. Know, I, I'm jumping all over the place, but my dad, my stepdad, drove trucks from one side of Australia to the other. So I spend a lot of my young time driving from one side across the de- desert with him. in Australia with him. Oh wow! Keeping him awake and loving it. You know, it's so be- it's as beautiful as this. Hum- it's yeah, just humongous. Without the sea. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. But, yeah, it's not where I want to be. And all the rest of my life is, I sort of start to feel like I'm going to wither up and die if I go more than five kilometers inland. Uh But my work puts me in there. I just got to make sure there's a swimming pool somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Um, When I've been inland, my wife, we like to tour. We've toured all around India. As long as there's rice paddies I can jump into or a stream that's run Mm -hmm, down, I -hmm, mm -hmm. I sort of have to be strategic. Yeah. and try and sort of make sure there's some water that I can jump into. But So there would be in Saskatchewan. But right, right, right. No, the, you'd find a solution for sure. Yeah. I wasn't trying to make you uncomfortable, but I was trying to feel like... Yeah, I'd be but, making excuses though not to go, possibly. Yeah, but you've... you've but I, I find it fascinating that you have such a clear sense of what's important to you. And to have that connection and, and the, you know... I've met people who are who are surfers, like in the sense that, in your sense, like in, in your case, the the common the theme is this idea of being in the surf, of riding a wave that's chasing you as you're falling with it, and and that feeling, right? And so, can that you try you you make it up 
on the road on a, on a, on a, on a skateboard. So So is life really a gift? Really? Can you make every second count? That's the whole point of the podcast. So if you like what you've seen and you're inspired, because that really is my mission, then please give it a like, subscribe, and share. Shooting it raw? Yes. Shooting it raw.